Welcome to the Original Gangsters Podcast. I'm your host, Scott Bernstein. Surprise, surprise, we're going back up to the Great White North to give new details, fresh news coming out of the biker mafia wars that are going on up north. Shout out to the Dirty News, the best true crime uh, blog in Canada for breaking this. It looks like a murder from November of 23 that we had always put at the uh, feet of the Blood Family Mafia could be a Rizzuto mob hit. Let's dive in. Some new news coming out of the investigation into the November 2023 gangland assassination of Quebec City Hells Angels affiliate Michael Guerin, who they call Dooney. And Dooney's murder happened 10 days after Greg Woolley's murder in November of 2023. It wasn't necessarily on the radar of the Rizzuto mob Hell's Angels war because it was a part of this shadow war that we found out about later on between the Blood Family Mafia and the Hell's Angels in Quebec City. Now, uh, law enforcement in Montreal and Quebec City are coming out with their belief or, I guess, fact according to them, that the hit team that killed Gurin on November 27th of 2023 had been dispatched from Montreal and that it was possibly at the behest of the Rizzuto mob and that they had done the hit for Blood Family Mafia. Um, we found out in the last, let's say, six months or so that Blood Family Mafia is aligned with the Rizzuto mob that as the Rizzuto mob was engaging in a war with the Hells Angels, uh, Blood Family Mafia came to them and got their co-signing to go to war with the Hells Angels in Quebec City when the Rizzutos fought them in Montreal. So this kind of gives us a new perspective on the Dooney hit. Uh, Dooney was acting as the Quebec City Hells Angels' main tax collector and the war between the blood family mafia and the quebec city hells angels was all over or is all over a 10 percent tax on drug sales in quebec city that it goes back to the 80s with the uh with the hells angels there ice pick termel and his blood family mafia went and consolidated all the street gangs in quebec city went and got the uh support of the Rizzuto mob and declared war on Hells Angels in Quebec City. People who've been following this know that that is, you know, just all types of levels of insanity. Termel is on the run now in Europe, allegedly with a half a million dollar murder contract on his head, put there by the Hells Angels. He allegedly ordered the kidnapping and torturing of Mario Agers, a very prominent member of the Hells Angel uh, in Quebec. His cousins back in February cut off their toes and fingers and ears. Auger is in prison now on a drug case that he got picked up on last month. It's word is that Termel is uh, put a $100,000 contract on his head. So this thing is getting really sticky. Uh, Garen was murdered in his driveway shoveling snow. Uh, in Charlesburg, which is a, a, a part of Quebec City. And it's always believed that this was Termel's guys. But now with the knowledge that the SQ is saying that um, the hit team came from Montreal, the belief now is that this was possibly the Rizzutos striking out against the Hells Angels and killing their main collector. Uh, Guerin was a Motorcycle boss himself in the 80s and 90s was the president of the Mercenaries Motorcycle Club, uh, which was a support club of the Hells Angels. Um, he fought on the front lines of the Great Quebec Biker War on uh, on behalf of the Hells Angels, has done a couple of uh, prison sentences, uh, or maybe three prison sentences, two in America, one in Canada for drug trafficking and his life came to an end last November. Right now, it looks like it was the Rizzutos, not the Blood Family Mafia, that killed Michael Guerin. 
So we will see. OG Pod Scott Bernstein. <laughs>